father is your the entire godhead as yourself would experience death that day when jesus christ died and it was your purpose and character which cannot be separated any more than sin and death could be separated and this assures us of the coming world an entirely new mode of being that is currently foreign to us, but not completely foreign to us. For you've told us about it. You have taught us about it. You have embodied the spirit of that world in our world. We thank you for that. Even as we get glimpses here and there of the glory we already share at this moment as your covenant brothers and sisters you would have called for total destruction perhaps on ourselves or we would have but you became part of your corrupted creation to redeem it rather than just throw it in the cosmic trash can but how could you not love those who are created in your very image, for that's who you are? How mm. could you ever be otherwise in who you are and would, wouldn't would choose to be otherwise in who you are? And that we take comfort in your unchanging self. Father, our sin is a single narrative by a single human family and it is more than just our words it's more than just our deeds it's our souls and our selves that were contaminated that brings ingrained wickedness and in that way that we were not immortalized in that wickedness that death was your gift to us in that way that we for would forever not become the perpetrators of evil, there's a day coming when you're going to stop it. It was your heart, Holy Father, that sent your son into this world to rescue us from its tyranny, the tyranny we see every single day. You weren't just reacting to sin, but you saw every one of us, and you wanted every one of us to be reconciled back to your holy self. Father, you, you aren't punishing us in doing that. And you can no more win us back than bombing can win us back. Or, But it was your holy heart that compelled us to move towards you. You would not do it coercively as we do things coercively. Where are our accusers that could say any different, Father? Where are they? Who are they? And what enemy could take us from you that is bigger than our already defeated enemy? Father, we are so thankful that you can bring us and will bring us to an unshakable assurance your love for the church, you're expressing your love for every person. Bless her tonight. Bless us tonight with the rich, rich sense of your message that will make us honorable in the eyes of those who look on. Forgive us for our sins. Heal us of our busyness and our pursuit of too many little pursuits. Remind us of our destiny and recommission us with a single task as we live humbly and graciously in the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <clears throat> Brother, you may begin. I will mute as we go. I'm glad you're well and healthy and finding strength to continue doing what you're doing. So let me ask you some questions. 
Uh, tell me what your soul is. Anybody yeah. wish to so, unmute? Do you want them to ask answer the question? Anybody? What is your soul? Could he repeat it and get a little closer to the computer? Oh yeah, Jim, if you move in, I don't, a I little don't closer to the. Can you move in closer to the screen so we can hear you? What a great question, and we pray for a great answer. Here's the question. What is your soul? Okay. What is your spirit? These aren't like separate. They're not separate entities or separate. Who's that speaking? Kevin, they're... if Kevin? I say my spirit or my soul, yes, then I'm speaking of a different aspect of myself, but it's still me. They're not, I don't think they're separated as uh <laughs> I don't know the word I'd use, maybe a compartment or, or different pieces of us. It's all us. Uh, it's my soul and my spirit and myself that understand. I, but if we speak a different, there's semantics. We use different words to describe a single larger person. Oh, is it our personality? I, my, oh, sorry. Yeah, that's my best. That's my best guess. That's your guess. Go ahead, it? Linda. Linda, you had <laughs> you had. A... I was just asking or thinking. Is it our personality? I know it's the part that leaves our body. That's not flesh. You know, like you you talk about. It's not our flesh, but it's what lives inside this flesh. But it also could it be our personality? I think uh, our soul is us. I believe uh, C.S. Lewis said, "We are not bodies with a soul, but we are souls with a body." Nice. Mm. I would say that's the part of me that won't die. Mm -hmm. It's a part. Of you that won't die. Yeah. And anyone uh, else? Kevin's guess was what was it your guess was? <clears throat> there are different descriptions of a larger being or person. We're still speaking of a singular person, but a different perhaps a different aspect or angle of that single individual. That's your guess. Dennis it says that uh, uh, God I don't know. breathed a man the breath of life and he became a living soul. Who said that? Charlie. Charlie. I'm sorry, say it again. Yeah, Gen Charlie. Genesis says that God breathed into the man the breath of life and he became a living soul. Seems like it would be all of man, the spirit, the body, the life force, whatever. Well, just one more thing. The, the Hebrew writer tells us that there is a distinction somehow uh, that the word of God divides between the soul and the spirit. What that division is. I don't know. That's what I'm hoping Jim will tell us tonight. Well, he certainly <laughs> won't. Oh. You know, there's plenty of guesswork going on here. And, uh, 
Uh, yes. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, can, can God be tempted by Satan? No. Can God no. be tempted by sin? No. No. We're told he cannot be tempted. Oh. That should end it, shouldn't it? Because he can't be tempted by sin. He didn't tempt other people to sin. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Could Jesus Christ be tempted by sin? Yes. Tempted, yes. yes. On all points like his we. Yep. He could. God can be tempted as a man. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> can God be tempted by sin? He was tempted in all ways that we were or are. Can God <laughs> be tempted by sin? No. Could Jesus Christ be tempted by sin? Yes. He was. Uh huh. Okay. What's the significance then of that, if any, for humankind? Well, Jesus was a, a man, and as a man, he could be tempted. And as a man, was he was he a man, or or was he what was he if he if he was more than a man? He was God being a man. Oh yeah, yeah. Was one part of, mm -hmm. What does that mean? <clears throat> does it mean that God was being a man? Did God morph into? Humanness? Did God become a human? Did he turn into the baby, for example? Did God become the baby? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pardon me? Yes. I think so, yes. The, the, the fullness of humanity was experienced. Not just by Jesus, but the entire Godhead was, in fact, experienced what human humanity is. Not only that, but became that. So, who was speaking? Hey, man. Hey, man. Who? Heaven. I'm not sure I'm hearing you or you're not hearing me. Uh, I'm not talking about physical. Was Jesus a part God and a part human? Oh, he was totally human. He was totally God. Were they separable? No. No. no, no. The answer is no. The answer is no. Could Jesus die and God not? That's what happened. Yes. Jesus could die and God not die. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Yes. Could God be born? Nope. Could God be born? Yeah, he was born to experience our birth. God was born. Who fathered? Not as God. At, who fathered? As Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth was born. Born. He didn't exist prior to his birth. He became Jesus of Nazareth. God became and was born Jesus of Nazareth. That's the incarnation. Holy. Before he became, when did Jesus 
of Nazareth become a human? At birth. When he was born. Yes. When he was conception. Conception. Conception, yeah. But... He didn't exist before marrying. No. Him. And God created him. Did God create Jesus yes. in the womb of Mary? Did yes. True or false? Yes. Well, the, Hebrew, the Hebrew writer says a body God prepared for him. Ah, great verse. <laughs> move it from the question. You don't, don't move from the question. Stay with the question, please. Did God create Jesus in the womb of Mary? Yes. Okay. Did he create God in the womb of Mary? No. He placed him there. Did God create God? No. Did he placed God him there. God? No, he did not. God didn't create God. All right. What did he create in the womb of Mary? He created a human. the he human created? body of Jesus. Yes. I, I missed I missed that. Say it again. He created the human body of Jesus. He the created, Holy Spirit. Oh, oh, he didn't create Jesus, the person. He just created uh, a body. Well. Huh? Yeah. Why do you say that? Why he, do you he, say he just created the body? We're well, back to soul like, spirit again. It's not that, separate. The, so. the, the Hebrew writer tells us that a body, God prepared a body for him, for Jesus. I mean, for the word to become Jesus. Mm. And and what did he, uh, he was talking about what he did in Mary? Is that yeah. what the Hebrew writer was talking about? Yes. All right. So he created just a body. Mm. So well, what Mary, what Mary delivered was just a body. It and would be a soul. It's a, human, it's a soul. It was a human being, yes. Huh? It was a human being. With just a body. <laughs> well, Jesus was Jesus was with God in the beginning. He was he's eternal, but he embodied that. How do body. you know that this Jesus who was created in Mary was eternal. What makes you say that? Because he was God. And, it, and he was with well, God in the beginning, well, John 1. Yes, that's why you say it, because you think he was God. And so he must have been eternally there. Did he have a father eternally? Yeah, the Holy Spirit. Did he have a father Somebody fathered him, and he yeah, the Holy him? Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Jesus the Holy Spirit, Spirit fathered God. No, Father Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. Okay. He fathered a human. Is that correct? Yes. He did not father God. No. The father, the human. Is that correct? We yeah. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so when the angel spoke to her, he said, that which is born of you, that which is born of you. Was he saying? God is born of you. You are the mother of God. As well, Roman Catholic. Yeah. 
people. Yes, right. They, right. they, they say, uh, right, mother of God. Was mm -hmm. she the mother of God? No. Well, she no. was not the mother of God. No. Okay. So, what, when the Spirit of God did what it did, and, and with and through Mary, what was it before he made it fully human? What, what was in her? Was Jesus in there? Before the Spirit created him? No. No. He was not in there. No. She was a virgin girl. Yes. Yeah. There was no baby in her. Yes? No. Yes. And by a miraculous, by the act of the Spirit of God, something was conceived. Yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. What was conceived? What was created in Mary? Jesus. Huh? What was created in Mary? A human. A little baby human. <laughs> what yeah. came out of her? Little oh, baby. baby human. A little <laughs> baby human. Yes. Created by God, a little baby human. Now we see the little baby human, and what is he? He's a little, is this true? He's a little baby human. Yes. What was he mm. when he was 12? A young Baby human. human. What was he when he became 30 and said he began to preach when he was 30? What is he when he's 30? He's a man. A grown, uh huh. Does mm. he turn to God at some point? A human? Are there two gods? I, I didn't hear your question. Yeah, but it really wasn't, it shouldn't have been a question. You know fine well that there was not two gods. Right. Now, well, what Jesus of Nazareth is what's created to be, what he lived and died as, and rose as, and was glorified as, and is even now the between God and man, the mediator himself, man. Jesus of mm -hmm. Nazareth was what? The man Christ Jesus. You right? The man Christ Jesus. That's exactly what the biblical witness says. Yes. It behooved him in bringing many sons to glory. Yes. To make the author of their salvation perfect through suffering, for he who sanctifies and those who are sanctified are all of one. Yes. For uh... what cause Jesus is not ashamed to be called brother. Brother. Yes. Mm. Look, in the midst of all of what we call the incarnation, God created 
Look at that sentence for a moment. In the opening of the biblical witness, God spoke and created what? Uh, let, let me shout uh, for the moment uh, the, the heavens and the earth and the sea and all the rest of it, okay? He created Adam. What was he? A man. Huh? He was a man created in the image of God. Well, he was a mortal man. Yes. Given the commission along with the woman to be the image of God, the visual image of God, oh, the bodily structure of God, the spiritual structure of God. No, this is a mortal human. God creates him as they did in, in, in those ancient times and all over the place. The, uh, the, the, the big hitters would come in and they would make an image of themselves and the people would worship them. Instead of God building some kind of a, this, that, and the other, he created humans that they might function in his life lines, his purpose, all of that. But their identity is that they are humans. That God, that, that having created that human, he then created uh, the woman. Uh -huh. And she then became his wife. She wasn't created his wife. They, they were man and woman. And then God said the man would leave his father and mother. And that, that was written by Moses later, of course, and talking about the marriage thing. But he made... He made a human, a mortal human. Did he make Jesus a mortal human? Mm. Yeah. He had to. Yes. Christ mm. could die. He was yes. subject mm. to dying and we killed him. He made him a human. Now then, did he give him, make him in the likeness of God's image? He made him in the likeness of God's image. Jesus yeah. was made the image of the uh, God you could not see. The first one screwed it up. The second one did no such thing. God gave the first Adam. 1 Corinthians 15 speaks of the first Adam mm -hmm. and it speaks of the last Adam speaks of two Adams, 1 Corinthians 15, 45 to 50, okay? The first Adam screwed it up. Yes. I gave him a woman who finally became uh, a wife <laughs> to him. But she was also, she was also... When God created Adam by himself, the Bible says it was not good. Everything else was said to be good. The sun, the stars, the ground, the water, the everything he touched, he said, good. Not moral. Not moral. There was nothing moral about the animals. There was nothing moral about the water. But it suited God's purpose. That's what he means by good. Then he creates the man by himself. But says subsequently, the man by himself is not good. He's not saying not moral. He made him for pity's sake. There's nothing evil about him. He's not suited as he is for God's purpose. And so the woman, he brings the woman. She is not only made second, she is made last. And she completes, she completes this fellow. 
He could not be the image of God by himself. He could not be the one who reigns with God's uh, power that God granted by himself. God said, let us make man in our image. And the image of God made he them male and female. Humanity is not male or female. Humanity is male and female. Yeah. Humanity in God's purpose and in God's intentions and all of that, while they are distinct one from another, they do not exist <clears throat> as part of the will of God and the purpose of God, independent one of another. They both make the purpose of God. Jesus is made a mortal one. Then God gives him a wife. Mm -hmm. And his wife is called the church. The church. The church. His wife <laughs> is not physical. His wife is spiritual. His body, we're told, 1 Corinthians 15, his body was not like the body of Adam after his resurrection. He was put to death in flesh, 1 Peter tells us, <clears throat> made alive in spirit. The first the first Adam, he was made a natural man. And the word rendered natural or, or ordinary in, in many of the versions is the word uh, we've been using here a minute or two and I've forgotten the word. Uh, uh, preach a creative. Uh, no, 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 no. What? Uh, I, I, I've lost the word. Uh, his, he was created mortal. Christ was created mortal, and then Christ was resurrected immortal. Now his body, as is 1 Corinthians 15, 45 to 50, his first man's body was mortal, remained mortal, and he died mortal. Christ's body was mortal in the birth of this Blessed Virgin Mary. He was then uh, slain, 1 Peter 1, 1 verse something. Anyway, uh, he was put to death in flesh, made alive in spirit. spirit. And his body is called heavenly. His body is also called spiritual. This is all in 1 Corinthians 15, 45 to 50. <laughs> <clears throat> the doctrine, the doctrine of the tri-personal nature of God, where God is made up of three beings. This was made, made, declared to be biblical truth formally in the uh, year 1030, something like that, and they argued about it. Mm -hmm. And you need to read the history of how they brawl about it. We're afraid. We're afraid of letting Jesus be, be a human. You know what Jesus, you remember what the Jesus said to the girls? He said after his resurrection, he's already resurrected. Yeah. And he's uh, immortal now. And he says, tell them, I'll meet them up in, I forget where, but he says, tell them, um, now I ascend to my God and your God, mm. my father and your father. This he said of himself in John 21. Uh, six times, five or six, the apostolic group said of him, when they were describing him, they spoke of the God and Father 
of the Lord Jesus Christ. God made Jesus Christ a human. You. Jesus Christ, Matthew 1. Uh, Matthew. Christ is the heir of God. And you are a joint <laughs> heir with him. I wish you could know who you are. I wish mm. I could know who I am in mm. fullness. Mm. Yeah. The yeah. more the more we get the sense of the wonder of the person, the child that God sent, the child that God acted in and revealed himself in the likeness of him. He was made the what? The image of God. He wasn't made God. He was a baby for pity's sake. But in him, as he grew, the image God showed himself, his image, what the first man didn't do, what his wife in the end did not do, they screwed it up, Jesus did it all. He was the express image of God. We weren't satisfied with being the image of God, because, but we were made the image of God. We were made mortal. We were then given the function and the glory. Yeah, the glory to act and live out in the image of God. And we lost that. We lost it all. Man fell and lost the glory of God in Jesus Christ, the human Jesus Christ. God expressed himself, made him the image. Jesus was a new creation. You've heard that. If any man be in Christ, if any man, woman, boy, or girl be in Christ, why? There is a new image. Huh. All things are passed away. All things are made new. In Jesus Christ, he says to those who have embraced him, you are not of the flesh. He did say that, didn't he? Mm. You are not of the flesh. Yeah. And he says, number two, you're not of the world. You're like me. He says to his father in John 17, I give the word that you gave to me, I gave to them, and they embraced it. Yeah. And the world hates them for it. For <laughs> They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. He says the very same thing, well, almost the very same thing in John 13. If you were of the world, the world would love its own, but you are not of the world. You're like me. I'm not of the world. Neither are you. That's not a, that's not a physical anything. It's a whole view. John chapter 3 to the man who said, you must be born again. There's got to be a rebirth. You are part of the Adamic children. You're part of the world. The whole, all of the nations and all that sinned against God. They fell. And we know that whatsoever things um, the law says, it says to them that are under the law, that every mouth might be stopped and the whole world brought under judgment before God. I know this can be distressing for you. If you worry about, well, if I, 
I don't believe that Jesus is God. What, I'm going to lose what? Lose what? Lose what? Lose a doctrine. But you don't lose anything. If God indeed created him human, yeah, God created him human. And why did he create him human? He tells <laughs> us that he might die. That he might take up his life immortal. Jesus to the man says, you can't enter the final ultimate kingdom of God in the flesh. You have to be born again. What is born of the flesh is flesh. What is born of the spirit is spirit. On and on. There are texts all over the place. All over the place to make it clear. Do you know the first you know the first uh, heresy that attacked us immediately after the the uh, the, the apostle moved. You know what the first heresy was a denial of the humanity. Yes, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, we lose nothing. <clears throat> If we don't believe that there are three parts of the God at three persons, even those who teach that in, in the, the universities, not, they can't agree on how to say it. We can't even talk it. There's only one God, just one. <clears throat> and Jesus will say, he's my God. Did Jesus ever call himself God? Never did. Mm -hmm. Did the apostolic group ever call him God? You can read the text for yourself. They never did. They mm -hmm. did not call. They called him the image of the invisible God. He's the image of God. He is, uh, now there are some texts that we base this three personal thing on. I used to teach it myself years ago. And, and then we were able to wiggle around and what, what? No, that Jesus is you, you who are the church, Mark, you. In, if you're the gods in Christ, you are the wife of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are the brother of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are in him the image of God. And you are called to image God the way Christ imaged. The whole story of Genesis is undone. And a new creation begins. Jesus is the beginning himself, is the beginning of the new creation. And you who by faith, you who by faith are now a part of Christ. You are the body of Christ. You are how Christ makes himself present in the world. You are the image of God in Christ. Jesus said, Father, I'm not asking you to take them out of the world. I'm asking you to protect them from the evil one. Do you know what they, do you know what the Jews never fought with Jesus upon? They fought with him over the seventh day. What are you doing? reading this, that, and the other. What are you doing breaking the law and this, that, the other? Do you know what they never accused him of? His teaching, I mean. They never said he's calling himself God for pity's sake. On one occasion, they said to him in John 7 and John 8, 
<laughs> You're making yourself God. That's what they said about him. And he said in the same place, You're of the devil, your father. You accuse me, a man. Yeah. You're going to kill me. Your father Abraham wouldn't have done that. Abraham rejoiced to see my day. Sodom was glad. How did Jesus know who he was? His mother told him for pity's sake. <laughs> you don't think she didn't tell him what the thing of the angel said? He knew the scriptures inside and outside. He knew about the promises and how it would be fulfilled. He knew who he was, and he saw the glory that God had laid out for him long before he came on the scene. What it is he kept, what is it he kept on saying to the apostles who could hardly believe he was the uh, uh, the, 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 the the chosen one, much less. Would they believe? They didn't believe it was God. <laughs> what a fellow birded out. You're my God and my Lord. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you remember what the night that happened? He said, uh, he, he's all the, this, that, and the other. The others called him, the, the others said of him that his father was his God. His father was his God. And they did, they hardly knew that he was the Messiah. They didn't know he was God for pity's sake. <laughs> you don't get that out of scripture. And uh, are you being robbed yeah. if you say that Jesus wasn't God? No. Does God say to God, you're my God? Does God create God? Huh? Does the apostolic group say of him, his father is also his God and all of that. And we're not getting the message. Do you know what he is? He's God's glorious son that he created in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And he grew, says the scripture. Do you know how he got to know who he was and all applied him? He grew in wisdom and in stature in favor with God and man. And he said of the scriptures, the scriptures, the, everything about them speaks about me. They speak of my life and my death. He said, I have been destined to die and then to rise again. And the apostolic group didn't like the dying business and he didn't get the other, but he got it. And he said, and then the two fellows on the road to Damascus, well, we thought he was the, he said, fools and slow of heart not to believe all that the prophet said, how that the Messiah, the chosen one, must first die and then get his glory. Yeah. The body, the birth in marriage, there's where he come up with the body. The, the body, not just the body, he was a human. He was a human. You, you, you can't be just a body and be a human. He, you're, you're all kinds of things, a human. But the body that he got, he got from Mary, and he got it by the miracle work of God. And then, but he was mortal. And so they could still kill him. And he talked about all of that. He said, but that's not the whole story. The story is then that I rise. And First Peter 1, verse 3, I, I think it's verse 3, put to death in flesh, made alive in spirit. The first man was made uh, mortal. His body was an ordinary, that's not the word that's used in the Greek, and I can't remember the Greek term, but it's uh, it's it's a, an ordinary human body. But he said, put to death in flesh, made alive in spirit, not by the Holy Spirit, though that's a truth, of course, but not in that text. Do you know there's no text 
uh, I'm not saying this is significant. I'm just saying, do you know there's no text that says the Holy Spirit raised him from the dead? There's a text which says, if, if the spirit of him who rose from the dead, who God raised from the dead dwell in you, then uh, your, your body is going to be uh, renamed. But the text says it is God who raised him from the dead. Everywhere you read, it's God who raised him from the dead. Interesting that the whole stress. What is the spirit of God? What is it? We don't even know what it is. We, we can talk about it and make some sort of common sense. Stuff, but, but, but the guesswork, our brother said, he was making <clears throat> guesswork earlier. It's not a, a person inside there who's working in the machine. If you open it all up, there's nothing in there but all the skin and bone and little bits and pieces. What do you, I forget the name of them all. You know the names of them all. Our soul is our capacity for living as humans. That's it's called a soul body. He got what 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 the first guy got is a soul body. S O U L body. It's a body of a of a mortal. That's the word that's used. Jesus Christ had such a body. He was raised beyond that on a, a body that's called heavenly and spiritual our spirit is our capacity by the goodness of god to enable us to be in touch with that which is beyond the material uh -huh. and our 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 other body the the, the uh, i've got the words I'm, I'm losing my way here uh, mentally, I mean, I may have been losing every way, but I, I'm confident <laughs> I can't remember the wording. Um, this, this, our, our soul, our soul is not a thing in there that you can open up and see and feel and weigh or anything about it. It's a gift of God. It's a capacity that God gives us to enable us to live as humans mortal humans in this world with other mortal humans that we might have influence on them. But then in Jesus Christ, when the time comes, our body is no longer mortal, it's immortal. It's a spirit body. It's not made of spirit. Nothing is made of spirit. When Jesus says to the woman in John 4, God is spirit. There's no definite article. There's no article at all in it. You have to add an A in Greek to make it English and readable. But there's there, there, there's no the in it, and there's no A in it. Jesus says to the girl, uh, God is spirit. He means he's not human. He's not part of the this, that world. He is and himself, life, yeah. And so when we rise, if indeed we are in the Lord Jesus Christ, our bodies of flesh, and First Corinthians chapter six, meat for the belly and the belly for meats, but God will destroy both it and them. First Corinthians six, he will destroy both it and am, and an it and them, the body and the flesh, the foods. Yeah. Jesus, 2 Corinthians 13, 3, was put to death in weakness, made a lying in power. First Peter 1 and then and 1 Corinthians 15, he was put to death in flesh, made alive in spirit. There's no, there are no articles there. Put to death in flesh, made alive in spirit, not put to death in the for flesh. There is no article in the Greek. Put to death in flesh, made alive, and there's no definite article there either. 
but most of the versions want to get the Holy Spirit in there. I believe in the Holy Spirit. It's all over the place for pity's sake, but it's not that text. And we need to let the text say what it says before we conjure up our doctrines. And we wanted something in a world where there were gods everywhere. And we try to work up a God that uh, would allow us to call Jesus God. We didn't want him to be human. We started fighting about whether he was human or not. And that mm -hmm. fight about his humanity went on for, I think, I, I think, I'm not sure about this, but about 300 years, it went on and on and on and on and on. Denying the humanity of Christ. Don't do it. Don't be afraid. You'll think about all of this. You won't agree with what I said no time, uh, unless you've had, uh, unless you've read stuff I said about it before, and and you guess on that, uh, and you think that's that, that's okay. But if you read about it and thought, well, that is not that won't work. Well, that's all right. That doesn't make me angry. That you would differ from me. We're friends for pity's sake. But we're more than friends. We are brothers and sisters in Christ, unless what I'm saying is heresy. Okay? And if I discover it's heresy, I'll 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 walk away because I no longer belong uh, to Christ if it's heresy. It in heresy. Jesus said, I'm ascending to my God. Your God. I'm ascending to my Father. Your father, yeah, God, God is God, one is enough. We don't have to go through all that business about trying to make three persons who are really not three persons. What, 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 what are they? What, what is a person even? Uh, on and on and on. Well. Oh, I think I'm done. Uh, it's eight twelve. I I didn't speak all that. We started late. I, I didn't mean to go this far. <laughs> but I, no, it was, it was it was good and late. Your clock is fast. You what? Your clock is fast. Oh, is it? Yeah, you've only been talking fifteen minutes. <laughs> but you really packed a lot into those minutes. So, yes, thank you. Mm. Yeah, people do have problems getting around that they, they can't let go of the Trinity. Yeah, I, I understand their implications. Amen. Their implications that there is a Trinity, we don't call it a Trinity. But I mean, there are implications that there's a Trinity, but do we have to call it a Trinity? You know, uh, I guess not. I don't, Jesus didn't call it a trinity. You ought to read I, I have one other question. It's it's. I want this question answered. So, Jesus is standing before Thomas. He says, check me out. And he shows him his wounds. Is he immortal at that moment? Or does that happen at his ascension is jesus immortal when he was standing before it, thomas it jesus what um, immortal immortal well he's risen from the dead was jesus yeah. immortal what when he was standing before thomas was he immortal at that moment when he was standing before his father no, before Thomas. Um, I can't get through if I can't. Oh, he, hey, he, yeah, well, yeah, no, no, no I've got gotcha. you. He is resurrected. Isn't that, mm. isn't that true? Of course, he, he said, I don't believe, uh, yeah, he, he's, he's immortal. Okay. Uh, um, uh, yeah, he said, I, I won't believe that he's risen from the dead. I saw him dead, and I won't believe until I get touched and, and make sure that he's the character. So all of these markers that Jesus would show 
were markers to prove that he was indeed the one who died, but they were more than that. They were, that's another longer discussion, but that's right. He was, he was, yeah, he was a mortal. There are those who deny that, but I, I don't think that's possible. They, they don't deny it, but one in some uh, university uh, down in Texas uh, is taking the view that, that, that Jesus Christ, um, uh, before he returns again, was just, his body was ordinary like everything else. He was eating bread and he, he was drinking with him and all the rest of it, all of that kind of thing. And they say he was just, he was the same fellow. He was raised not immortal. Oh, it's yeah. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Abilene. He was raised. Joey. Down. That's my view. Also. Joey, yeah, you have your hand up, brother, please. It's good uh, to see it, you, it, uh, Joey. I hear you. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was fully God. And the word became flesh. What word? The word that was fully God became flesh. I tell you the truth. That before Abraham was, I am. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm, not Jesus of Nazareth. Someone that was speaking to the Jews when he said, I tell you the truth that before Abraham was, I am. Someone in there had eternally existed. That's God. That's what Jesus was claiming to have eternally existed in some form. I, I take your point and agree with you that uh, Jesus of Nazareth did not come into existence until he was born of Mary. <clears throat> But clearly there are texts, I read a couple of them, wherein Jesus is being declared to be God. He's Some, not declared to be God. He, he's claiming, he's, he's spoken that of as being God. That he is God. But we were talking about Jesus of Nazareth for starters. You differentiated between Jesus and Jesus of Nazareth. The the one the, the one who spoke those words was Jesus of Nazareth. The one who spoke was Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. The born one. The one yes. who did not exist until his birth. The one that said, he said, I didn't say, he said, before said? Abraham was, I before Abraham was, I am. I know where the text is. I'm wanting you to, you to tell me, are you making a distinction between Jesus of Nazareth and Jesus? It's the same person. No, but at least to the to Did the you say one yes or said no? that. Did you say I, yes I'm, or no? I said no. I'm not making... You're it not making a difference. So no. when we talk about Jesus, we're talking about the one who did not exist until his birth in Mary. The one who... I, I would... Jesus and Jesus of Nazareth are the same person, same individual. However, the, the one... And I'm not saying Jesus or Jesus of Nazareth. I'm not assigning a name. The one who said before Abraham was, I am, was Jesus. Yeah, but Jesus of Nazareth, didn't he, the, the text, what does he say two verses away? I am a man. This wasn't God talking. He said, you were of your father, the devil. Oh, you wouldn't do what Abraham did. Abraham saw the day coming of what was to happen to me. He thought he looked forward to the promises of God being fulfilled. He's not saying that Abraham saw him with his eyes or anything like that. You're making an interpretation on the text, but the text doesn't say what you say. 
the one who spoke there in John 7 and 8 calls himself a man. He's the one who is speaking and says, I'm a man. If you want to make him something other than a man, then get another passage. When the, that, that man said that, of himself that he eternally existed. Well, look, look what you're doing. You're now not only making three persons of the Godhead, you're making two persons of Jesus Christ. No, no, that no. That's what it sounds like to me. No. Someone in John 8 says that he eternally existed. Well, yes or no? Say, where does it say those words? Before Abraham was, came into existence, I am. Read that text, Joey. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Joey on this because that's my understanding, too. Go I tell ahead, you Joey. the solemn truth. Before Abraham came into existence, I am. Right. Well, he, where, something where existed. Before Abraham came into existence. Where does I'm it sorry? say that? I'm sorry, what? What you just said. What Abraham saw, he saw my day. What did he see? The birth of Jesus the Nazareth. He saw my day and was glad. He was thrilled because his promises were going to be fulfilled. He believed in God and God said, I'll do it. Don't trust the flesh. I'll take care of it. Abraham saw my Day. That's I verse, was glad. Six, verse 56 says that, yeah. Yeah, 56 and 7. Your father Abraham what? rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. 56. Thrilled. Thrilled. You know that Jesus is called in the book of uh, Hebrews, he's called the heir of Abraham. <clears throat> We are the heir of God with mm. Jesus. And Jesus is the heir of God. You get a couple of three verses, you know, you get a couple of three verses and build a whole theology out of it. There are about 15 of them, plain and simple. Jesus said, he's my God. So God is God's God. Huh? God creates God. God dies. What? God is raised from the dead by God. Okay, I see. I see where you're going. Yeah, yeah. I never saw that before. I never, I, I read things there that are not there <laughs> because I was taught that it was there. No, no, that, oh, you I haven't explained anything. You have not explained 857 or, or 58. I okay. tell you the solemn truth before Abraham came in ex into existence, I am. Abraham could not have seen him before he came into existence. You mean with his eyes? Abraham, the person, could not have seen Could, could he have Jesus. seen Jesus with his eyes? Is that what you mean? I, I'm... Mm. I I mean whatever it is that Jesus meant when he when he spoke it in eight fifty six. Joy, he didn't say he saw Jesus. He said Jesus said he saw my day. Okay, all right. Well, what does he mean when he said he saw my day? What did he mean? Well. I, I don't doubt that he meant something, and I'm not wanting that he to, meant something. I don't. I don't want to. I, I'm. I'm not tr trying to dispute that point. I'm talking about. Why are you wanting to dispute? I'm. I'm. I'm wanting to. I'm not wanting to dispute anything. I'm wanting to make the you point. Well, no. Well okay. 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 I'm. I am wanting to dispute your claim yeah. that Jesus was not God. Jim needs what? his earphones. 
I'm wanting to dispute your claim that Jesus was not God. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> I know you do. Okay. Well, well, you asked me what I was trying to dispute. No, I was no. Answering your question. No, Joey, yeah. that's not what that little mark was pointed to in the first place. Now, now you want to tell me, uh, and it's good. I'll argue on your one, but I'm going to quit this here in a, in a moment or two. Well, that's uh, not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I do not believe that Jesus of Nazareth, you don't even want me to say Jesus of Nazareth. You don't want me to talk about that Jesus. You want to make up another Jesus that no. isn't Jesus. No. Well, you said that. no, no, you're putting words in my mouth. That's not what I'm saying. Oh, Someone, you. whoever spoke in 858, whoever was speaking whatever name you want to put on it, that person made a claim to everlasting existence. Before oh, Abraham came into existence, I am. Oh, well, no, the I am. Well, here's one. I'm the father. How does that work? Is he the father? Is, is who the father? Jesus. No. Oh, you know, because the word, the I am, now the argument is on the word, the letters I am. No, I'm not making the, I don't think that he's saying that he's the father. No, I think he is oh, saying that he that eternally I existed. Who, who, do you, who do you think he's saying when he says I am? He's referring to his, the, the one that's speaking. Yeah. He's saying, I turn, I eternally existed. Well, where does he say that, Joy? In that text? That's what he was saying when I am. Well, that's, that's what, what I am means. In your argument on the words I am. No, he says, before Abraham was born, I am. And at the this. The text doesn't say before Abraham was born. It, it says before Abraham came into existence, I Why am. Why say that? that right there. It. Maybe I've got the Where wrong button. Where does it say before Abraham came into existence? John 8, 58. Yeah. Before Abraham was. I am. Mm -hmm. I am. And then he says, Abraham saw my day the bible the old testament says there's an abraham and that abraham was the father of the father of the father and that uh, jesus was his heir that's all the text we've got that yeah but he doesn't say that abraham saw him with his eyes or saw him in such a way that requires him to be eternally existent Unto us a child is born. <clears throat> Unto us a son is given. Born is given, already done, and it's still a future issue. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't think that Abraham had to eternally exist in order to see Jesus. <laughs> I'm not saying you did say that. I'm not saying you said that he had to eternally exist. He didn't eternally exist. He just existed. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Jews in verse 37 or 57, uh, the Jews that he that was way? talking to said, you are not yet 50 years old, the Jews uh -huh. said to him, and yeah. you have seen Abraham? Yeah. Well, he, yeah, well, that's what that's what they said, but that was their piece of nonsense, wasn't it? You're not fifty, and you're trying to make God of yourself. And he says, <laughs> "I'm not making God of myself. Oh, right, right. I He's am so... a man. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. Why does Jesus say I am? Yeah, why does he? I want to know. 
Well, because he eternal because he eternally existed. Now I want Jim's answer. Why, Jim? Why did he say that? It's misleading. Why did he do that? I want to know. Why did he do that? Why why did he say I am? Yeah, why did he do that? For for, for numerous reasons he said I am this or I am that and I am the other. I am the embodiment of it. I am this of it. I'm the mm -hmm. character of it. I'm a this, that, and the other of it. He says, I mm -hmm. am. I am who I am and stand for, who I am in the light of the prophets, who I am who's going to fulfill all I'm, of I'm the fullness of everything, of the entire. I'm the, I'm the embodiment of all of it. I'm uh, it. Your pardon? I'm the embodiment of all of that, all of the prophets spoken, all of the, the fulfillment, everything. They all, they all took the whole old time. He said to these fellas, you read, you're never out of your Bible. You're always reading it. But you haven't a clue what you're doing. The whole mm. thing is about me, and you don't even know it. Mm. He's saying, I am the fulfillment of the Old Testament. Sure. I am that. I am the law. I am the seventh day of the week. I am all those things. There's nothing strange. Yeah, it. yeah, I see it and now. It I see make it. Joey's argument, and yeah. Joey still will not say. Now he wants to make two things out of Christ because that's his argument. He's God one, and he's and he's a human. But that's the thing that you have to prove. You want to assume that, and you want to say the one speaking there was the Jesus side of him, the other one speaking there was the God side of him, and so in order to cover the ground, he makes, yeah, he makes one part of Jesus. Now he's got this Jesus, who, that's that's the fella that the Hebrew writer said, he came and was made like under us. And it was attempted in every way as we are. Well, if he's, if he's, if he's, if he's, if well, he's, this is what the Hebrew writer is talking about. Right? <laughs> One who is half God and half man. That's a real human. And, and he's tempted in all points like we are. Mm -hmm. Can God be tempted of no. sin? God can't be tempted of sin. Could Jesus be tempted of sin? Yeah. Okay. I get it now. It's that Jesus emptied himself. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. so he emptied himself. Was there ever a time that he could not have changed and said, I'm I'm done with this and just become God again no. out of the flesh? Yes, he could have done that anytime because okay. he was the word became flesh and dwelled among us. Yeah. That word was God. Yeah. And God, Jesus saying, uh, God is my God. Well, yes, uh, of course, that's what he was saying because from the, the place that he was as a person, he was looking at the Father. He's baptized. <clears throat> The moment he's baptized, the Father speaks, the Holy Spirit descends on him, and there's Jesus, the Father, mm. the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we see God there. That's mm. God. Yeah. That, you can't have one without the other. They're all God. So when we we read in, in uh, Acts, what is it, Acts 5, where, uh, uh, what's their names? Uh, and the ones that the sold the property, and and then uh, oh, Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias and Sapphira. Oh, yeah. Ananias and Sapphira. Ananias oh, yes. and Sapphira. Yeah. yeah, and and Peter says, "You haven't lied to us. You've lied yeah. to God." And then he says, "You've lied to the Holy Spirit." Mm. Well, oh yeah, the, right. The Holy Spirit says. Right. God is my God? Well, of course. The Father is God. The Son is God. The Holy Spirit is God. So they can say, God is my God. Mm -hmm. 
God yeah, and they do. said and to they my do do God. That. Yeah, they do do we that. We see that in Hebrews. God said to my God. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, is there two gods? No. No, it's just one. And it's sort of like, you know, here's here's Joey here and me here. We're Tiltons. Mm -hmm. But so he can call me Tilton. I can call him Tilton. <laughs> even though we call each other father and son. That was a distinct phase. Jesus was Jesus of Nazareth was a distinct phase of his existence. I say existence because he was existing as Jesus of Nazareth. Yes. No Certainly. question about that. But he does specifically say in John 8, 58, before Abraham was, oh. I am, and, and Jim was making the argument about other texts that said, there is no article before this word. So uh, before flesh and before uh, spirit. Oh. Mm -hmm. So he made the, the point. There is no. But then when, when Joey asked, well, what does that mean? Well, then he added all these things. You know, I am the good shepherd. I am. Uh, the word I am, well, that's not what it says. It says, before Abraham was, I am. Right. So, before that Abraham is, existed, yeah. Jesus was. I yeah, mean, maybe maybe Jesus, that's not the, maybe uh, that's uh, not the crown uh, the crown verse you would use for maybe First John one, but uh, I, I I don't think Jim would point to that text and say that text says that but we have other texts. i don't yeah i don't think jim should speak without having his earphones on oh, he doesn't hear properly uh, yeah yeah he had them on the beginning he took them off but yeah he no, he didn't have them on the whole time he was speaking no no he didn't no no and he can't hear properly without them yeah that's frustrating yeah it, that makes well frustrating. yeah this, but then this it makes is, everybody frustrated. This is a very difficult thing. How do we understand God? Well, yeah. I don't know anybody that does. <laughs> yeah, it's, and say it's God. God is is we we know the tiny little bit that He gives us in His Word. Yes, is just tiny. Yeah. Compared it's to transcendent God. beyond, yeah, transcendent beyond, yeah, comprehension. Yeah. After God is altogether other, and we don't know what that means, right. other than what He tells us. Right. And something like Joey was saying, that person who was standing there talking to the Jews said, "Before Abraham was, I am." They knew what that meant. They. Knew knew exactly what that meant just like when he was in nazareth and he he's asked you want to read the scriptures he said yes and he takes the scroll from isaiah and he reads and when he finishes he sits down everybody's looking at him and he says this scripture is fulfilled today in your hearing what did they understand they understood that he was saying i am the messiah that's what he was saying. Yeah. And Jim's argument is that they, they did not ever accuse him of saying he said he was God. That's what Jim was saying. Did yeah. they ever stone him or do it? No, he never said specifically I'm God or anything like that. Although that text there would certainly, if there was one, that would be the one, wouldn't it? Well, he... But isn't... Isn't there that. more connections between the Old Testament and Jesus? Like when yeah. he was the rock and in the beginning when they created man, let's make man in our image, you know, and 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 God spoke the world into, you know, all creation into existence. He, he was and that was Jesus, the word. In John one, sure. like there's, it goes back. And there's and forth. the one in the, in Corinthians that says that Jesus was among them, walking 
with him through the wilderness. It was Jesus yes. Christ who was revealing himself to Israel. So yeah. I don't think he's denying that Jesus' preexistence as God is in question. Mm -hmm. That's not what he's saying. I that, think he got that's one exactly what he's saying. That's what you're hearing. That's, exactly, like you're that's, what we're hearing, that's yeah. exactly what Jim is saying. Well, he, my, Jim my, always his, said. His notes to me say he's God was preexistent and became a human. But he always says that he it was God being a man. So God being a man, yeah. So how? Uh, I think he was locked in to what he was thinking, and I don't know something. Maybe when we we're yeah. older, we get all you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> again, talking about God, it's not an easy subject. So, no. And well. And the fact is that we all can be wrong, no matter, I mean. Well, that's right. Let, let all men be a liar and God, or God be true and all men liars or something like that. <laughs> but he, even when he died, like Jesus, uh, okay, this is another point. When Jesus was on the cross, there was two men beside him. And I would think, I'm thinking in my mind, maybe it's not true, that they were about the same age as he was. When they came, the soldiers came to him, they to the thieves. They he broke. They broke their legs because they were still alive. When G, they came to Jesus, he was still, he was dead. He yeah. said, "Into thy hands I commit my spirit." Have you ever watched someone die who cannot breathe? They cannot say, I cannot, I'm not going to breathe anymore. I can't live like this. I'm going to die. They cannot, they don't have that control. Uh -huh. But Jesus could because oh, he I was see. God. He was God. He could say, I'm going to leave this body. All the authority I've received of my father. Yes. Here, here's the clarification, Joey. Um, the, Jim wrote this a note to me. I just want to read. It's just two short points. I believe that Jesus is God being a man. He wrote a month ago. I believe it's absolutely yeah. true that Jesus is God being a man, but I also believe he's the God, uh, that he's God being a man, only a man. There comes that Philippians 2. Oh. And being the man, Jesus, God is not being a God man or something other than simply a man. God is being the man, Jesus. God is not being a composite being. He's not a mixture or blend of God and man. He is being a man in the story. But the man Jesus is God being a man Jesus. It isn't an angel or an exalted being that's being Jesus. It's God and nothing other, nothing less than the very God being a man. So that's his, that's what he believed. Yeah. So the Trinity's on the table. I mean, I would call it the Trinity. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that may be, and I don't, I don't deny that that's what he wrote to you. But oh. that is not what was communicated tonight. Well, you didn't hear the beginning when he opened the lesson. You came at, at the end. He did make that clear in the beginning. I heard from the very beginning that he spoke. No, sir. You yes, were... I did. We probably don't need prayer. another we probably don't need another argument here. Oh, you were <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was okay. wrong when you when you had said okay. your prayer. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's. Um, yeah. That's well, why I asked him about that that question, Joey, and he clarified it to me that that's what he said. And we all need to stay calm and keep our blood pressure down. <laughs> Where's the salt, Linda? <laughs> well, Linda Ross, where's the salt? Where's the salt? Yeah, blood pressure. You're talking about blood oh. pressure. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you know, see, I'm, I'm trying to lighten it up. We're all friends. I'm the one talking. I'm, I'm we'll the one. die friends. I'm I'm the one talking blood pressure. Stay calm. Keep your blood pressure down. I don't think it's really a good idea just to totally go on and on and on arguing with Jim, because I don't think he is. He, he wasn't understanding what you were saying, and I think part of that is his hearing. He should not try to speak without his earphones. Okay. Marge, but maybe that, write him a little note. Joey, Jim, and, use your headset. 
Joey Kevin, means you either sometimes get locked into a thought that really you and that other person are actually thinking the same, but you're using yes. different and it sure, you don't sure. come together. Absolutely. And it, and I think if Jim thinks about it and if he could he, you know, what Joey was saying and what mm. I because I agree with what Joey was saying too, is what this Bible teaches. Yeah. And Josiah. Yeah, uh, I think it's I think it was just a play on words, really. Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's <laughs> difficult to communicate. Very difficult to communicate. Sometimes, yeah. And if you get locked into what you were trying to to teach. Yeah. Now I've been in class with somebody who was teaching that Jesus wasn't deity and, mm. and it was totally different than this. And um yeah. Yeah, I I was kind of shocked because this guy mm. is a preacher forever and in the church and all this but he oh. doesn't believe jesus was deity yeah but there's lots of scriptures i mean if we all went home and, and studied it out we'd come up with lots of things that mm. prove that he is sure right yeah alan you heard uh i i, I yield to joey thank you uh, the the reason well, I, the the reason I'm animated choose whatever word you want regarding this is because it matters it, I I I actually like yeah. you believe this stuff you know and well, yeah. there are consequences to my very understanding of the gospel itself mm -hmm. what Jim was saying tonight life and death life and death yeah sure. The, well, well, my understanding is that it is God himself. Mm. And, and no, I can't explain it, but it's God himself who took on flesh. Yeah. And lived and with us, us as one of us. I mean, I spoke about this very thing at communion this past Sunday. And if what Jim is saying is wrong, then I was wrong. Or if what Jim was saying is right, <laughs> then I was wrong in what I presented this past Sunday. And that 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 matters to me. Yes, it would. Yeah. But I don't I somehow Jim was not somehow not totally understanding what you were saying. And I think that goes to his ear problem without his I earphones. I don't know. I think he did understand. I yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I, I appreciate you all. Um, I'm glad you're patient I'm glad with me. I, we're so awfully glad you're doing good. We really are, Joey. I we haven't seen you in a long time, and even through and that's your faith. I, he's, it's marvelous. He's been on. He just hasn't shown his. No, faith. I, I know. But to me, it's been an absence, and I've missed him. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, to make me too. Oh, I just me too. I, I love you, brother. I I really do. Just miss you've been through a lot. And yeah, I've had stuff where I can't sleep if I don't have an answer to a question sometimes. I I want to know. Yeah. Well, I, I don't want to be sure of what I know. I don't have an answer to this one tonight. I don't think my I've been sad. If I'd have read that scripture and I have a lot, I'd have read it that Jesus said before Abraham was I was, I would have not even questioned that. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was so clear yeah. to me that I mean I mm -hmm. don't to start yeah. questioning that. Right. Another thing I want to say about Jesus being tempted. This is was he tempted? Yes, he was tempted, but he did not sin. Yeah. He did not yield to tempt. There's a difference. You see, when we think, well, he's tempted, we we put sin right in there with it. Jesus was tempted in all ways, just like we are, but he did not sin. And that makes me feel really good that. Jesus can understand every temptation I'm faced with because he went through them all, but he didn't sin. That's the difference. I sinned. I yielded. We have, every one of us, but he did not, but he felt it. He knows what we're up against. He's, you know, being a human. I mean, that, there's a lot of confidence I get in that. In the Lord knowing, Lord, do you know what I'm going through? Yes, I do, Alan, because I went through it. I felt it. Yeah. I know. I'm. I know you. Uh, there's nothing that you face, Alan, that I had didn't face. I know what it is, but he didn't yield to it. 
That's yeah, but Joey, Joey but when you were talking Jim was trying to reduce the 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 issue of of temptation too much because the capacity for temptation itself is a heart issue. Yeah. Jesus could never be tempted. John said that there is no sin in him, and there was nothing in Jesus that would tempt him to want to sin. But Joey, Joey, Joey that's my understanding too. Yeah, there wasn't you're right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're saying what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but, he there wasn't but, in it. He didn't. Now, he, he didn't now there there is some part. sense in which there there is some sense in which it is that must be true because the text says that he was tempted in all ways that we are, but at the same time we we have that we have to unpack that and yeah. uh, and consider it it it's more than just uh, how it sits. We can't just leave it there. We have to turn it around and poke it and play yeah. with it and fi figure out what it means. Jesus was never, ever going to sin against the Father. Right. It, just, right. it just wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Um, right. So he was too in love with the Father. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, that he is still hard. somehow yeah. tempted, yes, but not to sin, not a, to there away. is a difference against because we are sinners. Father. Yeah, we I are sinners. Always please He's not. my father. I always yeah. do the things that please my father. Yeah. I, <laughs> that doesn't so, sound like a person. So, so is, my, is my perception wrong? No, 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 no you're, not, you're right. No. You are right. In Hebrews about that. He's a great high priest that can, was tempted just as we, and he can. Yeah. Um, degree. It's degree. Degree. I know Jesus could never sin. I don't believe that he could no. ever. Right. But, well, but it, no. it just, again, I reiterate that it makes me understand that he understands me completely. Mm. In, yes. And what I and, say. What and, I say. and somehow, in some way, that is God's experience yeah. with us as one of us. Mm. Yeah. He feels the consequences. Uh, yeah, experience, yeah, definitely. I mean, that's the whole gospel to me. Yeah, that's suffering, uh, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, I get oh. you. Totally. I think we all agree with you, Joey. There's just been a play on words. It's been a misunderstanding somewhere. Anything, Mariana? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Mariana I would agree with that last statement. <laughs> okay, I'd like to say something. Like yeah, I, I always thought that the I am was that Jesus was God. But if you think about it, God decided that Jesus was the whole purpose. The whole creation was made. And Abraham was all coming into the plan because who was first? Jesus. Jesus was God's idea uh, first. Yeah. Okay, so if you think about it in that way, and if Jesus says, I am, he, he says, Abraham wouldn't even have existed if it wasn't for me. Oh, that's great. I am God's yeah, you're, the I'm Colossians God. 1 passage, all things were created by him and for him, yeah. with yeah. him in yeah. mind. Sure, sure. Yeah, and that's, um, that, that's kind of like Jesus always telling them, and Paul is confirming that as well. Yeah. You know, but Jesus being the human and tempted, why then have we got the temptation of Satan coming and saying to him, you know, you sh you know you're the you're the special one you're the chosen one so why shouldn't you make stones into bread mm. so, and like of course jesus said you get lost mate you know i mean that's not going to happen so <laughs> there is there yeah. but jesus did have the words he had no there's no way you know so, yeah. so, so think so, about that about where jesus came in the plan from even uh -huh. before the universe existed before god even made anything that's mm. that was coming as a human and why do we have a human because we're human <laughs> and how do we know about the holy spirit the invisible one because jesus told us about it so god has explained himself easy for us as humans and how the invisible spirit lives with us we know he's with us because jesus taught us that didn't he so get all that I mean, you that's that's all simplified for us humans. <laughs> so, Where'd you get that so Heather, um, if I, I'm wanting to make sure I understand you. You're, you're speak. You are understanding. You're suggesting that we might understand John eight 
as Jesus speaking not of chronological order, but of um, purpose, preeminence in um, the idea. Jesus was the first. Yes, uh, I idea. That's not the 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 first concept. The concept of Jesus came before Abraham. Right. And he's claiming he's claiming a a priority over Abraham. Right. Ah, oh, that's what yeah. it was. And that not ah, ooh, and not uh, a chronological. Right, practically first ness. That's what Jim kept talking about. Yeah, yeah, the that's Jews would easy. call this misinterpret. So a lot of times we follow the Jews train of thought, and sometimes you know it's they they're getting it wrong because they even told Jesus, you know, there's, there's loads of things that they've said, and he hasn't actually answered them dead black and white. He has said other things about himself, so. And they don't think like we think that they think the way we think. <laughs> well, no, they don't, though. Not necessarily think the way we think in a Jewish mind. We're, we're, we're human as well. We're thinking we can think as well. Look how many people grab on to, I mean, where did you get the I am from? Because somebody taught that to you. The doctrine I noticed when we were singing in our songs this week, we used to sing God in three persons, blessed Trinity. And actually the hymn was up a couple of weeks ago and it said, God over all and blessed eternally. So somebody yeah. has changed they did. that part in, yeah. on the, in our hymns and nobody yeah. explained that. Yeah, and I have they actually did. asked it. Yeah, so have you got that in your hymn? Do you sing? What do you yeah. sing? Yeah. yeah, it's changed. Yes. It's yep. changed. Okay, now that's yep. changed for purpose. Yeah. So, and it's bringing our attention to think about these things, consider them, you know. And Jesus did come uh, only 2,000 years ago. So, you know, and that's the Jews are going, you're just a man. Do you know what I mean? They're getting, and who do you hell do you think you are? You know, all these big uh -huh. words and all things about God that you're talking about you know what I mean uh, so they were confirming that he was just a man I found that scripture I was talking about about the rock in 1 Corinthians 10 and it's there talking you go. about That's it. yeah it's chapter 3 yeah, and it's that. talking about the you know Moses and the children of Israel and chapter in verse three, it says they all ate the same spiritual food and drank the same spiritual drink for they drank from the spiritual rock that accompanied Christ. them. And that rock was Christ. Yes, it is. He was there with them in the yes. wilderness with yeah. Moses. The church, the church in the wilderness one. is the church in the wilderness is the sort of beginning. And then we're the church. Do you know what I mean? It, it's, yeah. it's all God, it's all the church of God, isn't it? Yeah. And, you know, I remember Jim saying, I think somehow he got blocked in this thing tonight. But I knew you probably all heard or read him a book or something where he said he talks about the three, the Godhead being, I don't think he called it that, but they're looking at the earth and he, he God picks that up and spins it around and says there something like these are my words i'm paraphrasing big time uh they're really in a mess down there they need help and and they and he listens and he hears all the crying and the turmoil that's going on and he passes it to the holy spirit and he does the same and then he passes it to the son and the son says yes i'll go down and do something yes i remember it. yeah and jim says that yeah. so i think sometimes he got he he got himself locked into some thinking tonight that mm -hmm. uh yeah couldn't you know understand what uh, Joy was saying uh, because he probably believes that all that that he's eternal he is God but somehow or other his thinking was locked into what he was talking about yeah 
and um, he, well, Heather, you expanded the word "I am" a great deal right there. Yeah, yep. Yeah. You expanded that word to mean more than just talking about a personage. It was a whole scope right. of everything that came into existence, everything God did in the Old Testament, everything that He was was summoned was was climaxed in this human being. I am the temple. I am all of this. Yeah. Heather, that was good. That helped me see that, yeah. So well, it's, it, well, what Joey said is right, it is. Plus. More. I want to I say think. something. Anything more? Mariana? No, someone is trying to tell us goodbye. Oh. I think I got to go. Okay. Yeah, have a good brain tonight now. Your baby brains are going nuts. <laughs> I, I, I think it's great. Been great. Uh, great. I like talking and because it makes you think, you yes, know. Very good. And we do need to Ex think. You have to be thinking. Love you all. Have a great week. Take think care. about these. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>